Hello and thanks for watching this Axeman video tutorial on the levels effect in Magic's Vegas. Go! I use the levels effect on just about every single video clip that comes across my desk. It's probably the quickest and easiest way to clean up your footage. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? I could probably just end the tutorial here because that's it really. Just bump in the input start and end and there you go. You've gotten rid of what I've come to call that residue. That's not what it's called, but that's what I call it. I'll explain why in a little bit. Since I don't want my video to be that short, let's take a deeper look at what we're doing here. When we use the levels effect, what we're really doing is getting into something called color grading. There are professional colorists out there that make a living doing what we've just done. Of course, they do a lot more of it, and they dive into the deep and complicated science of it all. Here I'm just going to scratch the surface of color grading with the levels effect. And to get started, we'll want to open up the tool that a colorist would have open throughout a given project, the scopes. To do so, we'll go to View, Window, and select Video Scopes. That brings up this window with all the fancy scopes for us to geek out on. We can select from the Vetroscope, the Waveform, ooh, pretty, the Histogram, and the RGB Parade. Ooh, pretty and colorful. You can also select different combinations of the scopes or all the scopes if you want. But since we're just scratching the surface here, I'm only going to be using the histogram. First off, let me explain something about cameras and lenses that will help you understand why we want to adjust our levels using a histogram. Often we like to think of light as a straight beam going from the source, point A, to point B. And sure, that's true. But what we don't often think about is the fact that after the light hits point B, it bounces or reflects onto point C, and then D, and then E, F, G, and so on. So if we think about light going through the lens of your camera and hitting your image sensor, we also have to understand that that light is then going to reflect off of your image sensor and bounce around inside of your camera to God knows what end. So what happens is your camera, good or bad, picks up this reflecting light, but it doesn't know exactly what to do with it. So this residual information is there, encoded on your video, giving us what I call that residue I mentioned before. Now, some cameras are better than others, but ultimately, this is something we're always going to have to deal with in the editing room. Speaking of the editing room, I've named my office The Slaughterhouse, and I've started a new vlog called In The Slaughterhouse, where you can shadow me on full video projects from start to finish. Check it out. So back to it. Here's what we're looking at. The histogram shows us all of the color data or information from our video here in graph form. And we read the graph from left or zero to the right or 254. These numbers represent luminance or light or color data from your video. So we can also say that the left refers to the deeper black colors and the right refers to the brightest white colors of the scene. All this in between is the full range of color information on our given video clip. So what we're looking to do with the levels effect is to cut out any space on the histogram with no or little color information. This will get rid of that residual light information that your camera didn't know what to do with. See, right now on this video clip, we have very few colors that fall in the darker range. So in this case, we'll raise our input start to remove that range of data from our video. On the opposite end, we see a different story with a decent amount of bright white colors. But the footage is not overexposed. We can tell by this steep drop off right before the 254 mark. So here we'll just bring it in ever so slightly until the color information we do have meets the end of our graph. And now we're left with a good full range of color data. As we can see, our graph starts with a decent amount of data and ends with a decent amount of data. As we toggle the levels effect on and off, you'll see exactly how much this footage has been cleared up. Our sky and water are bluer, the colors on the buildings and the boat are brighter, and all in all, we have a much cleaner image we're working with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.